Hey, what's up you guys? It's Brian, and I wanted to make a video um, and talk about something that none of us ever wants to talk about. <sighs> Pornography. Okay, so um, depression is something that I think a lot of people talk about. I feel like it's talked about sometimes in a fake way. Um, but I have had a very real battle with depression. Um, and I'm not just bullshitting that, I guess. Um, you know, I've met so many of you guys, and so many of you battle with depression. You battle with self-harm, you battle with just sadness, you know? C chronic sadness, I guess, is what depression is in my eyes. And that's something that I have had to deal with. Um, and I don't have it as much as I used to, but it is something that I've had to deal with quite a bit. About four years ago, my YouTube career was going really, really well. And I would honestly say I was a very happy, cheerful person. It was a time before I had really experienced real sadness, I feel like. And then um, around, around the time I was 21 and my career was really starting to take off, I got sick. Um, and not like, in a traditional sense, like not like I didn't get cancer or I didn't get like um, a brain tumor or something like that. I got this condition called atypical facial pain. And if you guys don't know what atypical facial pain is, I don't blame you because when they first told me I had that, I had no idea what the fuck that meant. When it first started, um, I didn't know what to do. It literally felt like I was being stabbed in the eye by a knife, with a knife, all the time. Like, I was always in pain. And it was like, on a scale of one to 10, it was like an eight. I was, it, it hurt like a bitch. And I went to like five or six doctors in the Nebraska area, and they had no idea what was wrong with me. Um, and then I went to uh, Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. I went to New York. I went to Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland. I was flying all over the country to all these different hospitals. Um, and no one could help me. And it felt like the doctors didn't give a shit. I want to show you guys a short video that I never thought I would put on YouTube. <laughs> it wasn't made for YouTube. It's a video I made for my doctor. Um, doctors. I felt like my doctors weren't taking me seriously and I wanted to show them like how much this was affecting me. Um, because uh, I just felt like no one was fucking giving a shit. This was my cry for help. Um, so here it is. So my name is Brian O'Dell, and I have been suffering from atypical facial pain or some kind of facial pain in the right side of my face for about the past two years now. And uh, I don't know what to do anymore. Um, it's, it's literally, it's ruined my life because it's one of those things to where it's like, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm, I'm really, really good. I'm, oh I'm a professional YouTuber and, um, it's I'm sorry I can't I can barely talk it's my job to um as a youtuber it's my job to um to put on a sh to put on a face you know and to act to act happy and to you know to light up for the camera um and I'm really good at that I can uh, I can I can always act like I'm happy and I literally I act like I'm happy all the time, I really do, but if, if I'm being completely honest, I have been, I have been miserable for two, two years. People tell me all the time uh, that my videos, they tell me that my videos help them and that my videos uh, make an impact in their lives and that it, uh, that my videos have, have changed. People tell people tell me that 
my videos have helped them to get through tough times and that I, I bring happiness into their life and they and they smile at me and they hug me and I smile back at them and I hug them and I tell them how, how happy I am that I was able to help them. And But all I can think about is, is how little happiness I have in my own life. And it's just, it just makes me, I feel so empty. Well, that's, that's what I was going through. That video was made two years ago. So what happened after that? Um, after that, I kept going to more doctors. Um, I never actually showed that video to a doctor. I was too embarrassed. I will play it on YouTube apparently, but I never show it to a doctor. But I got a lot better at um, explaining how I was feeling. And I finally found some new medications that really helped me. The pain level went down. And I also finally had a, a, an attitude adjustment. I finally realized that life just sucks, you know? <laughs> and okay, I know that that's not maybe not what you want to hear. So hear me out. Here's what I'm trying to say. Um, I just, I realized that if my life was going to get any better from the position that, that I was in, because I was in a really bad position as you saw, I just, I had to stop complaining about it and do something about it. So I just I focused on, on being more positive. This last year was probably the best year of my life. You know, I went on the Brian Stars tour where I met Johnny, and we went on Warp Tour, and then I made the big decision in the last year that I was going to move to LA, and I moved to LA. And those experiences and the, friend and the friendships that I made in the last year, like all my friends now live in LA, and I have friends here, and Johnny and Damon, the two people you probably know best. I've made more friends in the last year, and had more life experiences in the last year, despite, you know, my sickness or my face pain or whatever that I thought I would have ever had in my entire life. So despite that stuff that I was going through, I, I said to myself, I'm going to enjoy my life and I'm going to make things better for myself and I did. The message that I want you guys to take from this video is this. Number one, your life is going to get better. I did not think when I filmed the video that you guys watched that my life was going to get better. I thought that my life was doomed, that no one could help me, and that I might as well just end it. That was my honest thought process. I was so hopeless, and I'm so glad that I that I changed my, my mindset. I'm so glad that I made myself tough it out, and that I started being more positive. And I was right, you know? This last year has been the best year of my life. And I'm, I'm what I'm saying to you guys is, your life is going to get better. I don't care what it is you're going through, if it's parents, if it's bullying, if it's appearance, your life is going to get better. It's not going to stay like this forever. I promise, okay? And the other thing I really wanna get through to you guys is that you're not alone, all right? I know it seems like you are. I know I felt like I was alone. <laughs> I thought that no one could help me and that no one gave a shit. And that wasn't true, you know? Anyway, I want you guys to know that you're going to be okay, all right? Whatever you're going through, maybe you just need to hear those words. I know sometimes I need to hear them, and I certainly needed to hear it a couple years ago. You're going to be okay, all right? It's going to be all right. It's going to get better. And again, you're not alone. And we will get through this together. I don't know. I hope this video made some amount of sense and I want you guys to know that you know I care about all of you. It's impossible to reply to every single person, but you matter and you're going to be okay, all right? I love you guys. Stay strong and um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this, maybe I'll tell, talk about my story a little bit more next time. So, I love you guys. Have a good night.